prayers for the month of June and July and also support the fight against the COVID-19. Hundreds of kilometers away in Nairobi at the Afia House, Health Chief Administrative Secretary Dr. Masi Mwangangi had both sad and good news with regards to the fight against the pandemic. To start with, 679 Kenyans had tested positive in the last 24 hours. Nairobi continues to lead with 349 cases. Kiambu has 69, Kajado has 35, Machakos has 25, Nyeri 23, Garissa 18, Mombasa 16, Kericho 14, Wasingishu 13, Nyandara 13, Tarakanithi 11, Lakipia 9, Nakuru Migori 8, Kisumu 7, Nandi Busia 6, Meru 5, Muranga, Kirinyaga, Makuini and Isiolo have 4, Tana River, Transoya as well having 4, Homa Bay, Embu, Kitui having 3, Kitui, apologies, having 2, Vihiga 2, Narok 2, Kilifi 2, Kakamega 1, Baringo, Samburu, Siaya, Bomet, Taitataveta, and Yamira all having one case. 18 Kenyans succumbed to the virus in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of fatalities to 456. So 15 of them had pre-existing conditions. Only three had no known pre-existing conditions. The conditions remain to be hypertension, diabetes. Today it was interesting. I was able to see asthma featuring greatly today as well as uh, kidney disease. The good news, however, is that there were 703 recoveries with 685 from home-based care, an approach that has since been lauded by the county government. We are delighted to inform you that we have 743 patients who've recovered from this disease, of which 685 are from the home-based care program, whereas 58 were discharged from various facilities. In the last one week, 183 patients confined in home-based care have recovered. County government has continued to support COVID-19 patients through nutrition assessment and psychological counseling to help them manage the virus and equip them with the necessary health education. We know that um there are challenges, but that does not stop us from confronting these challenges and making home-based care work. Despite the remarkable number of recoveries, World Health Organization Kenya representative Dr. Rudy Egas says there is more to be done. We know from studies in Kenya that most people remain susceptible to this virus, even in those areas that have had severe outbreaks. Even in counties where very many people have been affected, there still 